Hey, Breaking Brown family. Hey, Your Black World family. I wanted to um, kind of touch on something uh, that I've been saying for a while. Uh, you know, when we look right now, what we're looking at in terms of in terms of two murders, we saw Alton Sterling. All right. We saw Philando Christille. And so what people are saying is I saw a peace march by by by, you know, I saw a peace march by Snoop Dogg and all these other people and everybody's saying basically, well, you know, the problem is the actual problem is, is, is that, you know, what we have here right now is that the police officers just don't care about black people or that, or that, or that, the, or, 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 you know, nobody cares about black people. Well, the whole problem, that's not the problem, man. Like the problem is just that people don't care about black people. Over there. We got to get to know the cops. So if we get to know the cops, we're going to have a better time. Like we're going to be better as a community if we can get to know the cops. Like that's not the issue. The issue in terms of what we're watching right now is the implosion of the entire black community. And if you ask me what I mean by that, here's what I mean by that. Ask yourself, why was Philando you know, why was he, why did he have all those tickets? This is a guy who worked at a cafeteria who had 6,000 some odd dollars worth of tickets. How do you have, how do you have that many tickets if you're not being followed and harassed by the police? Like, just tell me that. Just answer me that question. If you're not being targeted by the police, how do you have that many tickets? This is the criminalization of black life. That's what we're watching. We're watching the criminalization of black life. This is, this, these are Gestapo tactics. OK, and even when you look, even when you take it away from him, when you look at Alton Sterling, I need somebody to tell me why this guy was selling CDs at midnight. He was probably selling CDs because he couldn't get a, a job that paid a decent wage. So what you're watching is like the failure of black life in America. That's what we're looking at. We're looking at the failure of black life in America. And that's the problem. The problem isn't just, well, police are just harassing people or police are just, you know, we have a problem with police and we need more community police. No, part of the problem is that we have a problem with jobs. Part of the problem is that we have a problem. We have systemic failures and we have systemic failures because it was designed that way. We have systemic failures because we were designed to fail in this country and nobody's doing anything about the fact that we were designed to fail as a group of people. Black people were designed to fail. We were brought here as servants and we were designed to fail in this country. So, 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 so that's what we're witnessing. We're not witnessing the failure of, 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 of one officer or the failure of, of, of one black person. We're witnessing the failure of black people because that's how the whole system was set up. That's how the whole system was designed designed. And until government steps in and does something about that, there's nothing we can do about that. And so that's kind of why I have a problem too, seeing people say, well, you know, I feel I, I you know, uh, uh, you know, we should band together with police right now. Listen, I think everybody would say that those police officers who were shot down in Dallas, they had families, they had loved ones and, 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 and we, and, you know, people, you know, we don't want to see any innocent people killed. But I have to ask, like, why, why do we only talk about murder and how awful murder is when, when, when it's, when it's police officers getting killed, when police officers get off after they kill black men? specifically or black women like nobody says anything nobody says oh we have to come together and do healing no that only happens when it's it only happens when it's a police officer so i think the question black people should ask and this is a delicate you know we have to thread this needle because this is a delicate situation but the question you have to ask is why is it that whenever whenever police officers get killed black people have to come out and we have to say oh my god we're so sorry you know it, this is so awful but when when black people get killed you know nobody you know the whole white community doesn't come out and have an outpouring you know and say oh my god this is so awful what happened and we have to change the system and we have to get together and we have to have a meeting none of that happens for black life especially black male life so 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 that's my concern you know my concern is that we're witnessing a failure here we're witnessing a huge failure of black people of the black community of no fault of our own there's nothing that you can do as a black person right now that can stop you from being that person that can stop you from being that person that gets killed on the street especially if you're a black man because all you have to, all they have to do is see you like they see black men as monsters black women are seen mostly as nuisances welfare welfare queens and but 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 black men are viewed as monsters so that's what they see and so when i think about that that's what I'm thinking that's what's going through my mind in terms of what we're going through how we got here and and what we're going to do about it and I don't want to hear anything about healing I want to hear about policy changes like what are you going to do to make sure that black people have a better life what are you going to do to make sure that, that that the next Alton Sterling doesn't need to sell CDs at the at the liquor store at midnight
Like, why can't he have a job? I know white people who, who, who aren't, who, you know, who are regular people, who are ordinary people who have jobs. Like, why can't he have a job? So I need somebody to answer those questions for me. And I know what I'm looking at. I know that black people in terms of the economy, the economy, the jobs are gone. So I know that what's happening right now is that, you know, society in terms of economics are viewing us as a redundant group. We don't need you. If we want cheap labor, you know, we have immigrant labor to drive down the wages and, and, and jobs are going anyway. There are white working class people looking for jobs. So we don't really need you anymore. So we're going to either kill you on the street or we're going to warehouse you in prisons. So that kind of implosion, I think, um, is, is what we're seeing right now. And I think black people have to be very careful and not fall into the trap of kind of blaming ourselves for this. Like we didn't create this. So stop blaming, like we didn't do this. There was an article a few days ago about a number of officers who had basically accused Black Lives Matter, of, of black people involved with Black Lives Matter of, of, of hurting them or harming them in some way. And it's up on my Facebook page if you wanna go see it from like yesterday or the day before. And this is what they do. We saw, we saw a white officer uh, threaten a young girl the other day. This is what they're doing. This isn't on us. We didn't train, and we didn't train Micah Johnson, the, the alleged shooter. We didn't train him. We didn't, we didn't set up camp and train him. So what, what are we apologizing for? Like, we don't have any agency in this at all. But it's like, we keep apologizing and saying every time somebody, oh, okay, let's, let's run back. Let's get together. No, I need you to fix this. Because this, 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 this has been broken for a long time. And like, you haven't fixed it, government. You haven't fixed it, politicians. You haven't fixed it, well-meaning white people. So so I need this to be fixed. And I'm not going to back off of this because something bad happened. And so, you know, those are just my thoughts right now in terms of what I'm seeing, in terms of, in terms of the black community, in terms of how we got here, and in terms of, you know, there are some people who probably shouldn't be talking right now. Like, in terms of the people that I want to hear from, I don't want to hear from... Earl O'Ferry Hutchinson. I don't want to hear from old black baby boomers. Like I want to hear from young black people. I want to hear from poor black people, especially black men. And I want them to tell me what they're going through and what, and we can discuss what they need to do in terms of policy. I don't want to hear from people who, 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 who are older people who aren't dealing with, you know, what these two men who just got killed dealt with. I don't want to hear from them. That was dealt with. That was old. That was your time. You can talk about healing, but really and truthfully, you aren't the one on the street getting shot and killed. So if you're not one on the street being, you know, bleeding out. If you're not, if you're not that guy, like if you're not in that community and you're not dealing with that on a regular basis, I just really don't want to hear from you. So, I mean, that's where I am kind of with it right now. This is kind of an ongoing thing for me in terms of my own mind and the conversation that I'm having with myself about what this means. But the thing that I want to drive home for black people is that this is much bigger than just police violence. This is a systemic failure of America. This is a systemic failure of the place where we live, of the place where we were brought to in chains. You know, we are the descendants of slaves and they have treated us as the descendants of slaves. No matter what your hue is, you are, you know, if you're a black person, you are, you descended from slaves and that's how we're getting treated. And so I, you know, I want people to keep that in mind. Like we can't keep moving the pieces around and say, well, let's, let's fix the police. And well, you know, let's, let's, well, well, no, well, well let's fix the economy. No, this is, we, this is, this is systemic. This is systemic in this country because this country the reason this country does so well is because of black failure like the minute we start to succeed payday loan companies go out of business because we can have bank accounts and you can't charge us huge amounts of interest because you know we don't we know we, we have good credit the minute we start to succeed i mean liquor stores go out of business and droves if we start to succeed because we're not so stressed out so you have to understand that this entire country you know you know it the the engine of America runs on black failure. We are the gasoline. That's how this country runs. It runs on black failure in terms of when you put people to work, when you look at putting people to work, that's because you're putting black men in jail. The reason we, you know, you can, we, you can finance all this stuff. The reason you can, you can, you know, the reason these, these, you know, people have, people are guards at jails. The reason people have contracts to build jails, all of that money is being circulated because we're failing. OK, and 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 this the, the idea that this country is running on black failure is a problem. And so that's how it's designed. It's designed for everything for us to fail and everybody kind of eat off us failing. And that's what has to stop. So that's what I want people to think about and um, and just and just work with going forward. Know that this isn't a, a, know that this isn't about one thing. This is about a systemic failure of America. It's not about a systemic failure of black people. We haven't done anything but try the entire time we've been here. We've tried and tried and tried and tried again. This is a failure of America. It's not a failure of us. So we should talk about it.